Greetings. Welcome to the review of our ongoing project case study of Urbane Tectonics. We are taking a look at the firm's human resource management activities and the makings of a new human resource plan. I, one of the managing members of the firm, I will be doing a quick overview of the new human resource plan. This overview will point out some of the human resource management choices we have made, why we made those choices, and how those choices impact and align to the business strategy, evidence-based systems, policies, and or practices. These are pertinent to the firm's organizational efficiency and crucial to the firm's bottom line. Executive Summary Staying true to our vision to build the best business infrastructures and our mission to implement quality management systems, in 2017, Urbane Tectonics began building a human capital framework. Post-pandemic, this new human resource plan we are reviewing, modifying, and improving on revisits, documents, examines, and challenges our strategies, processes, plans, and administrative work samples. In summary, third to a new action plan, second to recruiting, the selection process is where the firm needs to innovate, improve, and execute. With a good human resource plan in place, we expect an increase in the firm's ability to attract qualified talent, market value, team cohesiveness, and organizational effectiveness. Areas of improvement were discovered in the case study as we began to apply the principles of high-performance work practices and systems. This new human resource plan steps the reader through six modules and 10 areas of human resource management activities. Each module is divided into three columns of information. Three columns of information. The first column, number one, has the module number, the module name, and the module content. The second column, number two, has the firm's system, policy, or practice being used or to be used. And the third column, number three, lists the firm's work samples used in implementation of the system, policy, or practice. Our new human resource plan raises the bar by including a valid selection procedure, performance appraisal process, multi-source feedback, merit increases based on performance appraisal, self-managed, project-based work teams, and promotions to managerial roles filled from within, entry level upward. Using the business relationship manager role, as an example, this new human resource plan demonstrates how Urbane Tectonics seeks to implement good human capital practices that lead to employee satisfaction, low voluntary turnover, and overall feelings of justice and respect when engaging with our firm. It outlines systems, policies, or practices that encourage good working rapport, that solve employee problems and provide progressive vehicles for communication and feedback for the business relationship managers, managing members, advisors, future internal, external employees, subcontractors, subconsultants, vendors, and or suppliers. Business Description Urbane Tectonics is a management consulting firm serving owners, managers, and administrators who have the need for business process outsourced solutions, whether project, team, or enterprise management, for quality management solutions, and for integrated productized service deliverables. Our management umbrella consists of vertically integrated divisions of management consulting services through 10 key project types across 12 industries and delivered by four organizational types of teams. The contents of this human resource plan has six modules. Module one, business strategy. Module two, job description. Module three has three parts, the human resource plan, compensation, recruiting plan. Module four has two parts, the selection process and socialization plan. Module five, performance appraisal process and the training and development plan. 
module six the discipline process and at the end there's appendices for each module where applicable our vision or thoughts and plans long term are to build the best framework centralized constructs that enhance economic hubs and support business ecosystems our mission or our calling is to conserve business owners, managers, and administrators through the implementation of quality management systems. The firm implements quality management systems for owners, managers, and administrators who have an express need for sustainable management solutions and who need viable resources to assist them in making informed decisions about the projects and different types of work. The firm utilizes an integrated delivery style employ proprietary asset life cycle control mechanisms and have created a unique business infrastructure to deploy management solutions. We exist to provide owner, manager, administrator, business conservation. We solve problems, propelling solutions forward and creating gains for owners, managers, and administrators. The value we speak of can take the form of process improvement, increase operational efficiency, improved company morale, saved money, or you saved time. Some of our four to seven high level strategic goals are financial management, technology management, revenue management, human capital management, client relationship management. The selected job that we are using is the business relationship manager position. Uh, this is this role is a sales position um, and it's in the consulting uh, division, uh, though each division has um, their set of business relationship managers. In the appendices for module two, um, there is a work sample of the job description for the business relationship manager. Um, the uh, job overview um, uh, talks about, um, uh, uh, gives an overview of that business relationship manager position. Um, the task and duties um, talks about performance of administrative functions, such as recording sales orders, scheduling appointments, providing recommendations uh, to clients, um, and then it talks about the knowledge, skills, and abilities, the KSAs, right? Um, uh, education, um, technology, uh, physical requirements, and then it even mentions the pay schedule and, and some of the organizational structure. Um, so uh, that is the uh, job description, um, the job overview, the tasks, duties, and responsibilities, knowledge, skills, and uh, abilities um, outlined um, in the uh, traditional, what we call the job description. And when discussing what are the parts of the job analysis, um, the job summary, the job descriptions, the KSAs, um, you saw that um, within the work sample, um, again, are the support materials, you can see um, the Word PDF uh, version uh, previous. This is an update. We had that job description previously and we updated it uh, with the new information. And so at these links under support materials, you can see the different versions of that job description um, and then some of those additional resources. As we get into module three um, and we start doing the environmental scanning, um, uh, the uh, second and third column kind of goes uh, kind of play off of each other in that we are listing five areas in which we are going to do environmental scan. And then on the support side, you are seeing uh, some of that feedback of the or results of the scan. Do a SWOT analysis annually. And so this is right up our alley <laughs> of things to do in terms of um, uh, improving processes within the firm. And then we go into the demand al analysis. So in the first column, you um, you see that we're doing an environmental scan. Um, we go through a number of items for the environmental scan, um, putting that information in the third column, uh, kind of which is uncommon, you probably sh should have switched those two columns. Um, but in any case, uh, the next item to um, a piece of information was demand analysis. And so we're back into the second column 
putting um, the support in the third column. Um, and so it talks about the demand. So what we found there is a market demand in B2B services for legal accounting, human resources, payroll, health, business insurance, tax finance, and yes, sales expertise, right? That's the um, particular um, demand that we are targeting right now. We base our future projections on past performance. And so the current business infrastructure um, demands one to five sales professionals uh, per region, uh, state, or uh, 12 to 60 across uh, the industries we serve. Um, in this particular case study, we're only looking at filling in one uh, position, demands, uh, on, you know, competency demands. And those personal competencies, those academic competencies, I talk about those um, within the YouTube video introductions um, in module two, uh, when discussing the job descriptions, I also couple that um, with these explanations of competencies that would help that business relationship manager be successful in that role. So going from demand um, to supply, um, I'm talking about, you know, supply, do we have enough to meet the demand? However, there's only one person in the firm that's poised and positioned uh, to do the work delegated to the business relationship managers um, in order to maximize the value um, of that one person, a knowledge transfer in the form of books, classes, and discussion boards has been created to train and develop new talent in the sales area. Our supply of salesmen is low. So the supply of the BRM within the firm um, is low. The supply uh, talent demands, um, the supply of qualified candidates using uh, the these vehicles is good. So we have a number of um, places where we um, we can substitute the task of a business relationship manager with a subconsultant or a subcontractor, um, vendor registrations um, with um, enlisting uh, student support through Handshake um, uh, by going through uh, the uh, recruiting and selection process um, through LinkedIn, Facebook. Um, and other workforce development programs, employment agencies. We would say that a half dozen or so on each one of those platforms is actually low. So labor supply is high for independent contractors, low for quality candidates in sales, and low for dependable workers. When we consider the supply, right, of the types of workers we are looking for, um, there's a surplus in the job market, um, marketplace and overall supply. The landscape is very competitive. Um, there's lots of options um, for this type of work. Um, so the firm still has human capital deficiencies in sales. And now we get to the action plan, right? And so this business relationship manager position is core to our business strategy and key to healthy financial technology uh, client revenue and human capital management of the firm. And so there's several areas where we need to be more aggressive and to be better in at executing um, our desired outcomes. And so I've made a list. This new action plan will increase visibility, contact points, and enhance the reputation of the firm, attracting talent to the firm. With a new action plan, the human resource plan will be compared with the previous results. And so we have some results that we can compare uh, with. Um, and so that will be our control and evaluation, um, comparing uh, one year to the next. And so the business relationship manager position um, has a commission schedule and see that over and support um, uh, materials or the work samples, this particular position is commission based on a percentage of sales, a negotiable base with commission for candidates uh, completing and maintaining um, greater than 100,000 in sales, uh, 20 hours minimum work week. And the average negotiable salary um, has these thresholds, right? So we have a, a, a range uh, within the salary uh, ranging from 50000 uh, to 98000 
range. Okay, so when we took a uh, take a look at the market rate for the firm's uh, negotiable salary, um, it's competitive. Uh, when we look at the appendices for module three, uh, you can see the sales commission schedule um, that's also available in the work samples link in the third column on that slide as well. Below market is what we're talking about up to uh, 50,000. Uh, the column this is up to 50,000 um, in sales. And then as we get um, as our business relationship manager uh, begins to get up to $100,000 in sale, then that competitive salary uh, would be negotiable. So where will we find our candidates? Job postings online, on social media, uh, LinkedIn and Facebook, uh, virtual and in-person career industry fairs. Um, we have a organization called the Texas Workforce Commission, DWC, so we can find um, folks workforce development um, tied with them. There are several things that we consider. Uh, feedback. Uh, periodically, the firm will survey clients, vendors, suppliers, and employees bottom up and top down uh, to get feedback. And so as we indicated before, third to a new action plan, second to recruiting, the selection process is where the firm needs to innovate and improve and execute. The work sample outlines that welcome letter um, where we have step one. You verified your interest um, by completing um, the application or the uh, the application of interest. Step two, uh, review the title, um, review the links related to the business relationship manager position um, at the website and some of the playlist. Um, and then step three, um, they are to schedule their own in-person meeting, um, a schedule video meeting. The selection process will have three phases, the winning phase, the selection matrix phase, and the candidate interviews phase. The winning phase is when the firm responds with that welcome email with three steps and instructions to a, a candidate. Um, the selection matrix phase will consider four categories of review. Uh, the first being the previous education, experience, and community involvement. Um, this is used because qualified candidates, according to the job description, uh, have a varying base in this category, right? And so we opened it up to well, the degree requirements of high school level, um, but the bachelor's degrees um, in the different 12 industries that we serve will be considered um, in the scoring um, uh, because it would offer an extra layer of expertise. So interviews today can be conducted cost efficient. Um, the selection committee will be given a selection matrix to document their score for each qualified candidate on a scale of one to five, where one is the lowest and five is the highest. A uh, number must be assigned to each of the four categories or subcategories resulting in a total score for each qualified candidate. The third leg of our selection process is the STAR method, sample questions. And so these questions um, will be something like, tell me about the time you made a mistake, a conflict you faced at work, how do you handle pressure at work or school. Um, there will be a list of questions um, that the interview committee will be able to choose from. And so these activities will lead up to the hiring of one candidate, right? And so that candidate uh, will be selected um, by committee uh, to that one candidate, a phone call to extend employment offer. We not only use the 10 core as a service externally, but we also use it internally. Um, so when I talk about core two, human capital assessment, we're also assessing ourselves uh, internally and we use those and improve those assessments to, to utilize um, externally uh, for clients. The onboarding checklists, um, are those uh, compliance items, um, also uh, resources, so these work samples will give more clarity um, to uh, the job position, the organization, and um, other types of pieces of information and go in a little bit more detail on the work itself. Um, extended onboarding up to six to nine months, right? So we talked about 120 days. Um, uh, that a business relationship manager is like on a fast track 
um, uh, because of the importance of that particular position. Um, and so we have some quarterly employee check-ins, um, some coaching um, within that 120 days. On the other end of the spectrum, um, culture um, and connection uh, with the business relationship manager uh, position, same thing. We have uh, 10 core assessments, the marketing and multimedia, and how does that play in? Um, what we have these discussion boards, the um, business relationship manager uh, position is a independent uh, contractor uh, position. And so uh, folks are in the field. Um, they're not in the office behind a desk. Um, so we have things like BOMAC Talk, Global Alliance Platforms, uh, where we can freely express into, uh, industry specific issues, um, go over some uh, training points, answer questions um, in a non confrontational way, um, in a way that uh, can be collaborative, um, and we can get other industry um, uh, subject matter expert uh, input. Um, this way to build uh, socialization and culture um, uh, using internal external discuss discussion boards is not uncommon. So the content that will be measured um, are also threefold. Um, we have some individual and person personal development areas, some divisional sales funnel and process areas, and then organizational, uh, we will measure against some of the organizational uh, quarterly um, goals. And we use 360 feedback uh, group um, where um, they're given a performance management form to document their scores in those three areas, uh, categories, subcategory areas on a scale of one to five, where one is unmet expectations and five is exceeds expectations. In this case study, our new business relationship manager, their 30 to 120 day fast track review has revealed individual deficiencies in communication, which is key for sales, uh, building relational rapport, uh, which is key uh, for um, uh, uh, ascertaining clients, and the monthly output. Um, so the third doesn't surprise me if the other two um, are in deficiency. Um, then division, uh, divisional deficiencies in client conversion, contract survey, and then organizational deficiencies in meeting our goals for client engagement and acquisition. Um, we would put together a training and development plan um, uh, according to that. Uh, a verbal warning at 30 days, a written warning at 45 days, additional training. Um, at 60 days and reevaluation or termination at 90 to 120 days. Okay, so um, to get a business relationship manager back on track after monthly or quarterly feedback on low performance areas, um, our firm will conduct the personal analysis for the said individual, as I said previously. Um, after the needs assessment, the customized revised improvement plan uh, will be implemented. And so if reevaluation indicates that uh, that an individual is responding, um, uh, then we will move forward past that 120 days. Um, if not, uh, if it reveals that, hey, you're just not a right fit for the firm, uh, maybe that division, uh, maybe we can move you to a different division, maybe the team, move you to a different team or the role. Um, is it a possibility that we could move you to a different role? Um, if all that <laughs> fails, then the employee will be transitioned to referral services and outplacement counseling for employee exit um, at about 120 days. And so module four appendices, there's a board, uh, the onboarding checklist of items um, that include um some compliance items, uh, some training items. Um, so appendices module five, um, we see here um, the sales forecast, uh, quarterly sales forecast, um, that an example or work sample of what might be used um, in a performance review for the business relationship manager. 
Um, then on the right, we see a training plan, um, example of a, um, a training plan for business relationship manager. Um, and then we have a client cadence report and a monthly service concentration. And these are sales tools, um, think, uh, a way for them to keep track of who they spoke to, um, by what medium, uh, what their responses were, and to track how they're pacing um, towards their goals. Well, that was a quick overview of our ongoing project, case study, um, human resources plan. It charts our human resource management activities uh, to date. Thank you for your time. I welcome your feedback um, and constructive uh, criticism. So this project will truly be ongoing. Thank you.